Well, Shepard's enabling Alberta to switch from a coal-based power system to a gas-based. It's cleaner and it's the direction that the federal and the provincial governments are moving towards. We then began to look at what technology or what equipment we wanted for the Shepard project. The Mitsubishi machines gave us the most efficiency, the highest output at, for the best value. Shepard is essentially a combined cycle plant. Um, we've got two 240 megawatt gas turbines on site. They burn a combination of natural gas and filtered air. Um, through that combustion process, it causes the shaft to rotate at an incredibly high speed, which drives a generator, which is what you would require to produce electricity. That exhaust from the gas turbine generates the steam necessary for the steam turbine to drive an additional generator to produce the added 320 megawatts. So in total, the plant produces 800 megawatts. The Mitsubishi machines, when they delivered them to Calgary, was the heaviest load ever brought into Calgary by rail. So one of the deliveries was 326,000 tons, which is actually heavier than the 747. Throw into the mix the fact that they were going to travel by ship from Japan to some port uh, within North America, offloaded onto a rail, and then ultimately delivered here in Calgary, where they would be yet again loaded onto a uh, large truck and delivered to the site. And I remember being out here on site here when they actually set them on the foundation pads and the amount of accuracy that they had to maintain was close to about a tenth of a millimeter to ensure that they were straight. So the alignment was had to be completely accurate in order to meet um, Mitsubishi specifications. Seeing first fire happen, there was a sense of celebration amongst everybody that yes, we have accomplished one of the biggest milestones that we've seen out there. We picked a good partner in Capital Power and to see it all come together and actually putting megawatts on the grid was a great feeling. The project had a excellent team here at NMAX overseeing every step of its development. We were able to achieve over four million man hours of work without a lost time accident, which is almost an unprecedented event in the construction industry. I wake up every morning and I'm, I am very proud not only to be an NMAX employee, but also to be working at, at you know, an amazing plant like this with great people.